Hey, today I've got this featured house here located in Palm Coast, Florida. That's right, on the southern end of the Jacksonville metro area. And it's in development called Hidden Lakes. And this is an absolutely gorgeous neighborhood. As soon as you come in through the entrance there, which is beautiful, you've got um, these bike paths and walking trails, you know, around a preserve area. It's just absolutely gorgeous coming through that. Then when you get to the homes, I mean, this, especially this home, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a three bedroom, two bath, a little over 1,700 square feet, has a three car garage, and it's a pool home. And this pool is spectacular. Not only that, it's also on a lake. It's got everything. But where exactly is it compared to everything else? Well, check out these maps so you get an idea of where we're at. When you look at this first map here, you can see where we're at. And there's Jacksonville, then there's Daytona, and then further down you can see Orlando. And one of the nice things is also how close it is to I-95 to get to. Okay, you can see we're on the east side of I-95, but I-95 is just about a five mile drive. To get down to Daytona Beach, you're about a 35 minute drive at 24 miles. And to get into downtown Jacksonville, you're looking at about an hour. You're only six miles from the beach, which gives it an 11 minute ride. And then if you wanted to zip up to St. Augustine, see that historic town, then you're about 30 miles, which would be about a 40 minute ride. Now, something else I like to do is tell people how close they are to the fire rescue. Just never know. Well, here, when you look at this map, you'll see you're only three miles away and it says about seven minutes. Now, we know that if fire rescue is on its way for an emergency, it's gonna be a lot less than seven minutes. And also, speaking of which, now it's not in your front yard, but just a couple of yards down, there is a fire hydrant out front here. So that also helps sometimes with insurance. And speaking of insurance, since the house was built in 2016, that means everything is dated 2016. Your roof, your water heater, your air conditioning system. So that makes it a lot easier on the insurance because right now, insurance is a big issue here in Florida. And some of these homes, they're older, they do have a problem with it, with the roofs when they're over like 15 years old. Now the house really does have some beautiful landscaping also between the palms, the other plants and shrubs, and then also the rocks. And something else about the neighborhood too, is this neighborhood has sidewalks on both sides of, of the blocks. Some places, some developments only have a sidewalk on one side, some don't have them at all. But here you've got sidewalks on both sides, which makes it pretty nice. Check out these nice paver driveway leading right up to your three car garage. And also those pavers, they also flow to a nice walkway right up to the front door. Something else you'll notice is your entryway. It's nice, roomy and tall, beautiful door. So let's go check out the inside. Okay, we'll take a walk down this first hallway here. And like I said, here's your laundry room area and the nice floors that lead into it. You've got a sink, there's your washer and dryer hookup. You have shelving, um, you've got plenty of room. That door there leads to the garage, which we're gonna check out. But right over here, we've got some storage also. 
So you can make it a linen ca um, closet or whatever you want, just extra storage. It's big enough, it's a double wide doors. All right, let's take a look and see what that three car garage looks like. All right, you've got plenty of room out here. Here's your two car side, and then over there is your one car side. Now, some homes, when they have the three car, they'll have it divided where they'll have a wall here, and this will be a separate. I like it like this to where I've got all this open area, because what if I don't want to use it for a garage? It gives you a lot of extra room, okay? And then you have the water heater there. And also what's nice, not all homes have this. You've got a door right here that leads to the outside. So you don't have to open the garage door to go outside. And then, of course, when you go outside, the first thing I'm gonna do is look at the lake. <laughs> Okay, as you come out of the laundry room, of course, you see the lake through the kitchen window. Go down here, wood floors throughout. That door's the bathroom. We'll check that in a second. Here's the first bedroom. Got new carpeting. Looks nice. Double, double door for your, uh, for your uh, closet. There's your window on the side there. Nice. Also, a ceiling fan with the lights. Nice. Now let's head out to the second bedroom on this side where you see you've got carpeting also, new carpeting. you got your double doors, your ceiling fan with lights, and this one has the bonus. It's got the window that looks out to the lake. So I'm sure people will be fighting for this bedroom, okay? It looks like the neighbor has a bird feeder there. Check it out. You can see, let me zoom in. Birds are having a snack, and that's nice to look at. All right, now we go look at the bathroom. It's got a shower only, nice tile. Real nice, really looks good. And then, of course, the toilet right next to it. And then the lights down to the double mirrors, all the way to the single sink, and your cabinets. All right, now let's go check out that kitchen. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. I, I, love, I love the countertops. You got plenty of, of storage, cabinets. Um, here, um, it's nice having this set up here where you can put some bar stools and stuff. What's really nice is, is when you got people over, you got a party, you make a buffet style and you just put the food out there. You prep it over here. You got plenty of room to prep all that and put it there. You got electric outlets all over the place. You got a nice double stainless steel sink. I love it. Um, new appliances, the dishwasher, new, um, the, uh, the oven, the stove, and the microwave, all beautiful. I mean, all there's plenty of appliances. Nice, and all these uh, cabinets, plenty of space. And then also, you've got a pantry right over here on the other side, just a little more stuff, and, and a nice refrigerator also. I mean, it's a real nice package. And here's your beautiful living room area. I mean, wide open, ceiling fan, lights in the ceiling fan. A nice full-size wall where you can, you can either put an entertainment center or a nice huge big screen TV and put your couch over here. Of course, you got your kitchen right here to the side with those counters right next to it. And of course, everything leads out to these sliding glass doors. Um, but you got two sets of sliding glass doors here that lead out to this air-conditioned Florida room, which we're going to show you that too. But first, this door here leads to the master bedroom, and we're going to look at that next. Well, this master bedroom is definitely um, something that isn't going to disappoint you. Very large, nice lot of room, nice tall ceilings. You have the ceiling fan with the lights in the ceiling fan, a window on one side here, and then you've got your double doors over here that lead out to that air-conditioned Florida room. Nice carpeting and all, and then this doorway here leads to the master bedroom bathroom which we're going to check that out wow <laughs> yeah. well the master bathroom does not disappoint either when you check out all this 
Well, off to your right right here is a closet for your towels and linens. And then you see you have the nice wood look floors that go in. And then we've got the double vanity. And then you got the oversized mirror, nice lights. And then you also have a makeup station right here too, which is real nice. And your cabinets below. Beautiful shower. Check out. Nice with the two windows up at the top, the small windows at the top. And then there's your light. Real nice looking. And then on this side of the shower, you've got the toilet and the tub. And then right inside here is a nice, large, roomy walk-in closet. It's almost like a room in itself. And then, of course, nothing matches going back out to the master bedroom when you got these doors open and you're looking out to the, go right through the Florida room and out to the pool and the lake. All right, now we're going to go check out that air conditioned floor room. But first, I want to want you to check this out. We've got two sets of sliding glass doors. You see, these are really tinted, okay, so that when the sun goes down, it's, you know, it gives you a little bit of buffer. But you can open the sliding glass doors from two different ways. If you want this one open, you can do that. Or you can open this one. Depends on like if you get out there and you see you want to put a table or something close to this and you just want to use this one. So you do have options, okay? Also you can do the same with this. I can open up this door on this side. Or I can open up this door. Alright? Since I got this door open, let's go outside through this door. And this is really nice to have, uh, you know, an air conditioned floor room like this. Um, it's nice and long. Again, on the other side is the doors that lead to the master bedroom. It has two ceiling fans with two lights. Also, it has a plenty of windows. Okay, so when it's air conditioned, you've still got your view. But say it's a nice day and you don't want to use the air conditioning. I love these, it's got windows out here that they slide open. I love having sliders like this. And then it's just open, open air. I mean, right to the pool and out to the lake. It's great. All right, now let's go outside and check out that pool area. You know, I don't even think the video does justice to what I'm looking at out here. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. First of all, let's talk about the pool. You got this beautiful pool and the steps that go down here. You got a place to sit down over on this side. You have a spa that's built in. Um, just, you know, it's all caged in. So you can sit out here, don't have to worry about the mosquitoes eating you up. Nice landscaping. And then of course, you know, the view of, you know, of this lake. All right, now let's go out and check out the lake a little bit closer. You know, to see it outside of the screened in patio. And check out, the neighbor even has very pretty nice landscaping to look at, also. Wow. And like I said, the camera doesn't even do this justice here once you check this out. This is beyond too cool. Not only do you have two fountains right there, look, I just listened to it, you've also got a third fountain on the other side of the lake. So when we're, because you can see the whole lake when you're sitting out here, can you imagine just sitting out some chairs, having some drinks and checking that out? And look at the light, you know, because right now it's just, it's getting to almost sunset. You can see where they've got lights on the fountains. It's absolutely stunning. There you can see the other third fountain behind me. You know, a question I always get from people, especially if they're not from Florida, is on a lake, is there alligators in the lake? Well, yes, they, they can be. And you know what? I was born here in Florida. I live on a lake. My kids grew up on a lake. 
swam it. They were water bugs in the lake. My dogs went in the lake. We had gators in the lake. I'm still here. My kids are fine. The dogs are fine. Okay. Um, I wouldn't go at night and go into the lake at night, you know, but there are gators. And in fact, there is one right there. I'm going to zoom in my, I'm going to take the camera and zoom in, see if we can, see if we can catch catch a glimpse of it. He's on the other side, but I'm, I think I got my zoom will work on this. Here, check it out. Yep, there you can't see him. Okay, it's not very big. It's small, but um, he is kind of cruising along, um, just minding his own business. But I, they are pretty neat to watch. Okay, you know, I can see him. Alright, now after seeing this beautiful house, pool, and a lake with with the water spraying out in the back, with the lights on, it's magnificent. Now you got one question you gotta ask yourself. Could you see yourself sitting here instead of me? 